So now I'm going to do a little demo of Docker Compose in action so you can see how that works um, for a PHP environment. And I'm going to create a simple PHP 8 environment without any database or web server just to run on the command line so you can start experimenting with the PHP syntax and everything, uh, really a sandbox for the command line. That is already a great way to get started and to learn the basics. Um, so I'm going to change to my terminal. And I have here Docker installed on my, oops, on my machine and Docker Compose as well. So now we are going to, um, also there is this tutorial that I'm going to add the link in the description. And if you need some more complex uh, environments, you can use that as a base. This was to create an environment for a Laravel application, but even if it's not Laravel, uh, you can use that as a base to create uh, an environment with a database and an Nginx <clears throat> web server. So this will create an environment, a LAMP environment with Nginx and PHP FPM. Um, so this is um, an example of uh, the Docker file docker compose yml a simple docker compose and we are gonna uh, do something simpler even simpler than that let's start uh, creating a docker compose file so the docker compose file starts with the version definition and we are going to use version 3.7 and then you can have the services. The services are at the actual components of your environment. So um, we might want to use a custom Docker file to create a custom image for your uh, setup. And in this case, we, what we want is really simple. So we don't need to create a custom image. Um, so we can just go and say image. So this is a YML file. So you have to make sure the identification uh, is correct. In this case, app is a node inside services. So it has two spaces when you enter a new level and image is a definition inside app. So we're going to use the, so now we're going to check the right image. So you can go on Docker hub for that. I'm going to change to my browser so I can share that as well. Um, let me adjust this. Okay. So we're going to go to Docker hub. Let me see. So this is how you can find the image you need for your environment. And in this case, we're going to look for the PHP 8 image. You have a different, few different ones. Uh, I'm going to use the FPM. So yes, so 8 FPM, this one I'm going to use. And the reason is because uh, the FPM, the CLI image, the CLI images, they are images that run in exit. And the CLI, the FPM image is an image that keeps running because it creates a little service. And that's what we want because we want to be able, uh, we want the container to keep running so that we can execute our scripts on it. So it's going to be uh, PHP 
h f p m um we want to have a network as well so i'm gonna add a let me see networks yes so this will define the networks uh, that this service has access to and in this case i'm gonna create a network call it sandbox and then finally in another node which is not the services anymore then we have uh, the definition of this network another thing is um, the restart thing this is to make sure that the container is restarted if it closes for some reason and then we have the sandbox network let me see the networks node here we will define the networks that you have i have one network using the driver bridge the bridge driver okay so this is a like a minimal um a minimal setup and we are really just creating a sandbox where we can run the application like run a simple php script actually not a complex application but a simple php script to test so once you have your docker compose uh yml file set up you can just run docker compose app okay oh i missed something i missed the this is a string so it needs to be like that um it needs to be quoted okay i think that's the only issue let's see docker compose app it created a network and now it's running and ready to handle connections so what i did here was i run docker compose app leaving the log in the foreground so i can see everything um in here i can let's create a script oh, okay so there is one issue now I can log in and create a script there inside the container to try it, but uh, there is no sharing right now, so I cannot create the script from the local machine, from the host machine. I had to log in the container, which I can do. You can do to try. So to execute commands inside the container, you do docker compose exec. So I'm going to execute a command in the app service and the command is actually bash. So it will give me a shell. I'm inside var www um, HTML. And if I create a little PHP script here, I don't have Vim, so I cannot do that actually. I would have to customize the image to include a text editor or something like that. So that's not really what I want. I rather uh, edit from my local machine, my host machine where Docker is installed. And for that, I will need a volume. So we are gonna create, edit the, we're gonna close this, Control C to exit, and then we're gonna edit the docker compose yml file and we're gonna add a volume here so we have networks i'm gonna add in here a volume is a basically it's like the shared folders on virtual machines so you can share a directory from your local from your host machine to inside the container and this will be synchronized so anything you create in the host machine in that folder will be reflected inside the container um, so let's do 
the current folder will be shared in the application in var www html it was the the default folder right when you log in so i'm gonna leave it at that um okay let's run it again now volumes yes i miss an s here okay so now it's running and there is a volume so if i create a file here it should be also in the container so i can now do like this And then I can run docker compose exec app and what I want to exact uh, to execute php tests.php. It works. So now you can edit your PHP script right here from your host machine and then just run the docker compose exec commands and then you will be able to run these scripts. Um, so anything you using here. Uh, so let's do a line break and yeah. So this is pretty fun i think i really like to use docker and docker compose to run these little environments so you, to stop it you can just run ctrl c again if you want to run it in background mode which is also common then you can just run docker compose app minus d and this will run in the detached mode which will run in backgrounds essentially so uh, this was the demo I had about Docker and Docker Compose. I hope you have enjoyed that. And I will also leave a link for a PHP 8 sandbox that I created. It's on GitHub. It's just two files, a repository with two files, a Docker file and a Docker Compose file. And the difference is that it uses a custom image. So it creates, it builds a custom Docker image based on a Docker file that also installs a few PHP extensions and Composer, PHP Composer, so you can actually do more things with it. Um, for a, an actual, uh, actual application more complex with database, then you will need more services and then also check the link in the description with the tutorial about uh, Docker Compose with Laravel and that has a lot of good examples in there even if you're not using Laravel. Um, yes, that was all I had. I hope you have enjoyed and uh, see you next time.